Let's take a look around the Western Pacific today. And before I really get into the meat and potatoes of this update, I do want to remind you, you know, we're still, of course, dealing with our shear line, no threats out in the tropics, but also the recovery here across Japan following that massive 7.6 magnitude earthquake. The death toll at this time has rose to 92 people, uh, 30,000 people still in shelters. And uh, on top of that, um, we're still continuing to see aftershock. So this is still a serious and ongoing situation. Heart goes out to everybody who is impacted by this. But let's take a look. Actually, what most of you probably have tuned in for is that weather forecast. Not only there across Japan, where I do have a whole separate update discussing that and breaking it down, but also here into the Philippines, where we have that leading edge of our cold surge continuing to spill down towards the south and really is setting up that shear line. Boy, you can see it right in there. Very evident uh, with ongoing going showers there across southeastern Luzon and northern areas of Visayas. In fact, in fact, some areas could still see an additional 50 to 100 millimeters of total precipitation, enough to maybe cause some pooling up, maybe a few areas with some river level rise. And still see that shear line continue to linger. will be in reinvigorated here by Sunday over towards Monday by another cold surge and just continuing to... To set up those uh, occasional showers out here. Plus, you're still dealing with the easterlies down towards south. Nothing organized, but it is still going to continue to create some additional instability. Hey, also do want to note this. If you're in Manila, it looks like the shear line should just be towards yourself. So on Monday evening, uh, 7.32 p.m., check out the sky towards the southwest. As long as you have some clearing conditions after sunset here. And they should be able to spot the International Space Station. Also on January 9th, again in the morning and again in the evening. So I'll post another update on that. But hey, let me know if you see it. That's always a fun little uh, tidbit. And you know, if uh, we go ahead here into Monday afternoon, you still have that shear line towards south of Manila. Looks like it should be relatively dry there into the evening hour. So yeah, something to look forward to. Anyways, there's the next cold surge by mid part of next week. And these back to back surges continue to create that line of instability with showers in eastern Mindoro, southeastern Luzon, and eastern areas of Mindanao. That's where you're going to get the heaviest of that precipitation. Good news overall, the tropics continue to remain calm out here. In fact, I mean, we're just going to take a look ahead at that long range ensembles. And at this point, I don't really see anything to worry some and take a look at the flyover first on sunday here still got the showers there in the south with the easterlies while we look back towards the north still got that northeast monsoon the nicest spot on the map has got to be um region one there the west coast of northern luzon you're just kind of on the back side of uh, that northeasterly flow but here's a look at the ensembles with the GFS first. Let's just go ahead as we go ahead through them next Monday and the Tuesday. Remember, this would show any areas in green. So we go all the way out to the 10th and the 11th. Nothing absolutely popping here. And even on the ECMWF all the way out through the 10th, nothing absolutely popping. So, you know, at least in the next week, I have nothing developing. And actually, in fact, if I would went ahead the next two to three weeks, it looks very similar. Just, yeah, I mean, it's relatively calm in the tropics. So, Good news there. All right, take a look ahead for Manila. Eh, plenty of sunshine. Like I said, that shear line's gonna be towards yourself, so Monday's looking good if you wanna check out the International Space Station for our friends out there. Um, don't think you'll be able to see it in Cebu, but let me double check that. Still got those isolated afternoon showers. Temperatures into the lower 30s. Well, if you wanna scoot out, maybe do a little surfing in Shargao, afternoon showers, temperatures high 20s, the low 30s there for you as well. Anyways, that's a big look at what's happening out here today. A huge thanks for everybody on our Patreon and continues to support this channel. You are the reason why I'm still able to do it so and why I do it so much. Um, it's because, I mean, more or less, you guys are paying for it. And now, a lot of you do watch this for free, and I'll never put this behind a paywall. But if you do mind checking out our Patreon, but if you can't, uh, at the very least, um, check out uh, the subscribe button, <laughs> hit that. I'll try to get up to 100,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel one day, the goal is. And I wanna do it organically, so I wanna make sure you guys kind of hit that button. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe out there, friends. Bye.